panic or a rush now? Huh? I know. I'm just. You leave it up there. Does it feel tippy? No. Fucking nuts. I think she's gonna fucking clear. There's two. Oh, oh there's the last one. There's three. Set it right like that. Look at the flywheel here. Yep, up and down. Things out of the way. Take another look. No, Rob, you rush. Jackson, get my fucking way. Okay, now I gotta start going down slow. And we'll have to pull back slowly. I had to put the camera down or turn it off so I could concentrate. More like cussing, but um, it took me since I turned off the camera to now. I bet an hour, hour and a half just finagling this thing back and forth, um, in and out. It's tight. I ain't gonna lie. Not as tight. Not as tight as the four six, but. Maybe close, I don't know. We'll see. But do you want to see it? I bet you do. Let me turn on a flashlight here on my phone. We're calling it a night. I, it's not, it's in, it's sitting. Um, the, the transmission still has to be clocked. It's the, finally got the flywheel inside the transmission. Um, I'm just tired. It's been four long, three or four long days now of just working on this thing. And I'm just, I'm tired. But it's it's in the expedition. Everything looks like it's gonna fit just fine. It's the weight is off the transmission on that. Transmission jack's holding the tranny up, so that's just kind of dangling in there. Um, gonna be a lot of room for the turbo on this side, guys. When we get the new manifold on there, we're gonna have to. That's gonna have to be redone. That's not gonna work, I don't think. Or it's gonna have to be tucked up. Um, because the new manifold's gonna stick the turbo right in that open area right there. But that'll work. Starter down there. Looks like it's gonna be easy access for the oil change. I look at, I mean, there's gonna be plenty of room for the radiator and all that shenanigans up front. That's good. Um, so yeah. It's coming along, guys. Um, if I had more energy today, I, I'm just, I'm getting frustrated. It's just time to call it quits for tonight, so. All right, so next, I'm gonna get underneath there and do the exhaust, so I'm gonna reformat, re relocate. All right, guys, I've got you crammed up underneath here. I don't know what Ford was thinking. They didn't put another braking piece in there. 
The only way I can see to get a factory expedition exhaust system out of here without fucking cutting it is to drop the, the cross brace for the transmission. Yeah, it's it's only a few bolts, but that's beyond the point. This is ridiculous. Simplifying the expedition, like once this is all done, it's gonna be a lot, a lot easier to deal with crap. So I'm gonna go ahead and fire up, make my first cut here. I think what I'm gonna do first, I don't know what I wanna do first. I don't know if you guys might cut this piece off and see if I can't yeah I'm gonna cut it right here yeah well fuck looks like it's easier right here I'm gonna I'm gonna see I don't even know if I can be able to get in here to make a full cut Another cut just to get this piece out now. You gotta be kidding me. on. I'm going to cut myself. Really, that's got to come out. There's no way. Oh, it'd help if I would have disconnected that cocksucker. That is the uh, wrap on the exhaust elite, guys. I've got my clamp here. I'll show you. Anyway, uh, got that. That's what I was laughing about. I've been to the whacked it there. It got nicked. The, just nicked it though. That a little bit. I can take all this sheet and this uh, heat shield out of here. But 
that right there is the clamp that we're just gonna build our new exhaust to and not even have to dick with that back there everybody else online has been just running stock exhaust on these that's a big muffler I mean look at that thing it's huge and then there's a resonator tip at the end but yeah all this heat shielding in here I'm leaving all that that in the look at this see all this you know what this is it's sound deadening shield so from the engine bay back to the t-case is where that ends so i told my wife this morning she's like well she's actually not too concerned about the the noise level the decimals inside the cab she's like i i don't know it, it's a truck whatever but i'm kind of like i don't want it to be too noisy but i i honestly don't think it's going to be any louder than my super duty and we're going to do a decimal test on this we're going to get a decimal meter and see what the decimals are um power stroke versus three nine Cummins. so i'm going to go drink a beer and think about things i know i do that a lot i'm going to we haven't uh we got the engine just suspended and i think that's the next project right now today is to get on i just had to get that exhaust out of my way it's out of my way now we're good to go um so now we're gonna be mating the cummins to the for our 70w i don't know if i talked about this but the transmission somehow in moving it got clocked off the side so um we got the transmission jack plus the tr um uh, just the regular jack under the transfer case so i could get it back to noon again clocked back the right way and then voila she is mounted to the transmission she's in and she spins freely, so the plate works. Um, I'm so stoked, it's not even funny. So, it is in, let's go underneath and take a look. Just like she was supposed to be in here. Clearances all look really good. Um, the starter, look at that. I don't. I think there's enough room, because where it's sitting, where I have it sitting now, is where it's gonna be sitting on engine mounts. So, I think we're gonna have enough clearance to get the starter in and out for maintenance. Um, but yeah, she's in, made it, made it to the stock 4R70W, she's a beautiful thing, plenty of clearance on the oil pan, just looking great, I did bend, I accidentally bent that transmission line, didn't break though, so that's a good thing, the plate, I don't got the, they're just loosely in there, I haven't tightened them down yet, but that's what I'm going to do next off camera. I didn't film this morning, sorry guys, it was just too hectic. Um, we just needed to get it done. But on effort to get these in, it's if anybody's gonna do this, have a couple guys, don't try to do it by yourself. Um, you break things, and if you get mad, just step away, you'll break things. You don't wanna break that expensive adapter plate. So, it's coming along. Um, next is going to be cutting this 6BT manifold down. We're going to cut that and cut the other side. Then we'll run, we'll brace the material in and put some caps in this. So that way the, the turbo is going to be sitting right in this open area right here. We're going to relocate these lines for the heater core, get them tucked up. And if you look straight down, I don't know if you guys can see it on camera, but there's plenty of room for a down pipe to go out to the back um so dude i'm this is awesome like i cannot wait to drive this thing i think when you guys watch this video it'll probably be done in driving um because we're a few weeks behind so as you're watching this video i'm going to be driving it already <laughs> so but um i'd say i think we're way ahead of schedule a lot of hours have gone into this project so far, not including the hours to go to, you know, to Reno to get the engine. And then, you know, taking a gamble, not knowing, just taking, you know, word of mouth that this motor ran titties. And it does. I mean, you guys heard the video. This thing, I lucked out. <laughs>
starts on quick. The guy's got to get lucky once in a while. So please like this video. Uh, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. There's going to be more coming swaps to come. Um, and we'll catch you next time on the Central Oregon Shenanigans portion of Johnson's Key Raj. Till the Rockies rolled on by me at a steady constant speed. With my comments humming, coming on with what a trucker needs. Reserve power for constant speed. Reserve power, that's what a trucker